Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Thursday, June the 9th, 2022. It is currently 525 p.m. Central Time, and I'm coming to you live two stories above a street right here in Abilene, Texas. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be a very important update. Now, I don't know if it's going to reach all the people who need to hear this, but all I can do is turn on the microphone and try to put the information out there. And for those who don't hear it, that could be a bad thing. They may just think this podcast went away, but it's not going away. But there have been some some important changes started to take place today that could impact certain listeners of this podcast. So I'm going to put this on every podcasting platform I can find so that anyone who has ever listened to Theology Central can at least know, hey, if I I used to listen to it this way, that may be going away, and it will possibly be going away within the next couple of weeks, okay? So I think this is very important. But we had to we had to make uh, some changes just because at, at some point, you just have too many different things trying to monitor, trying to keep up with, trying to make sure everything is working correctly. Some things you're not even updating the way you should. And not only that, just for money purposes, right? Um, I mean, we we were paying, uh, you know, almost $20 a month to be on SoundCloud, paying almost $20 a month for our VBC pod page. And there were just certain things that you just looked at and you're like, this, this is not, you know, I'm not updating it. I'm not checking it. And I don't know, I, I think we're, we're just wasting money. So to kind of streamline, pro, to, I know that's kind of a cliche, but to streamline the process, to make it more manageable for me and to save a little bit of money and hopefully, hopefully, maybe actually move people to specific platforms where we are giving them far more focus. And then now that doesn't mean we won't expand in a different way in a different area. We may do that. Uh, we're, all, we're always looking for our, our different our different options, right? Uh, there, there's there are certain things we have tried. We didn't think they, they worked. And then you get rid of them. The, the bottom line is you always just have to constantly, I, I'm not... I'm not one of those who are like, okay, look, we're on one platform. There we go. Hey, I, you know, I, I put some things on YouTube and that's good. That's it. That's all. No, I, if I'm, if I'm going to take the time to try to talk about important things, I'm going to try to get us on every platform possible, but there come certain situations where you just have to go, okay, let's, let's at least try to streamline some of this. So, so let me try to explain a couple of things before I give you the major updates, right? Just let me try to explain a couple of things. At one point, many of you know this, we had a standalone app, right? We had a standalone app for all, for our podcast, for sermons, for everything. And it was awesome. And we were just really, I was really still trying to figure out the best way to utilize it, how to design it. There there were so many great things about it. And, And I was very, I was very pleased with everything about it. The company was based in Austin, Texas. They worked with us really well. I had to do maybe a far more work than I originally thought. Maybe they didn't quite tell me, hey, you're going to be doing about 50% of the work and we're going to get all the money. Okay. Maybe, maybe I could complain a little bit about that, but I made it through all of the difficulties working with Apple, which was, oh man, you talk about difficult with, with, for Android and, and Google, they didn't care. The Google Play Store, Android, they didn't get, they basically had no standards. Okay. But Apple was like, no, it has to do this and has to do this and has to do this. It took a lot of work. I don't ever want to go through it again, but I completed it. We had the app up and running and I don't know how many people I, we put it this way. The numbers were starting to grow for, for people who had found our app and downloaded it. And it was a great thing. It was really cool. Um, and we could do a lot of things with it. But to really make the app work, uh, one of the things we, we had to do, in other words, we, okay, no, the app, let me state it this way. The app was going to work, but to really make it feel like, hey, this is more than just one thing, I wanted to kind of divide things into different categories, right? Like, here's a category for sermons. 
Here's a category for anything dealing with hermeneutics. Here's a category for anything dealing with church history. Basically creating what you would call series, right? Like on the Theology Central podcast, we have series. The Bible Study Exercise Series. The Eye on Christianity Series. The News Commentary Series, right? Sometimes you may not even realize that a certain message is in a specific series because I usually don't talk a lot about it in the intro. But then we, I really wanted to divide things just to make it easy to find certain content and to really kind of fill in the app so it felt like there was something significant going on. Now, to do this, I had to create, or at least this was the only way I could understand how to do it, I had to create separate podcasts. So we had the hermeneutics podcast. We had the church history podcast. We, we had these different podcasts because I needed separate RSS feeds. I know this is getting probably things you don't care about, but separate RSS feeds that I could simply go into the dashboard for the app, place in that RSS feed, and it would pull in all of that content. So it would pull in the hermeneutics contact, uh, content to one section of the app. It would pull in the church history content to a different section of the app. And then I would create its own artwork. And and I think, I think it was really coming along and starting to really, I, th- I think it could have turned into something really, really good. But to do that, I had all of these separate podcasts out there, right? All of these different podcasts. So it it was really odd at times the way we were trying to manage it. And it became almost very difficult to manage all of it. So all of these different podcasts going to all of these different podcast platforms, but really designed to to separate the content within the, the standalone app that we had in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Well, long story, to try to make a long story somewhat short, that company went out of business, okay? Or that company got bought out by another business. And the and the company that bought it was supposed to be like this national recognized, you know, app creating company that had built apps for some of the biggest mega churches. And it was going to be like, this is going to improve, this is going to make your app a hundred times better. But it turned out to be an absolute disaster. So we said, nope, that's not going to work. It's not going to do anything we need it to do. And they said, okay, we'll cancel it. Come to find out they were charging us like $200 a month for a year. And then finally they gave us the money back. Oh, it was a disaster. It was a disaster. It was a disaster. It was a disaster. And it was very frustrating after all of that work really to see the app go away. Well, when that went away, I still have all of these podcasts out there, right? All of these podcasts and all of these different podcast feeds. And I'm like, what, what, how am I going to try to manage this now? And some of them ultimately they went away and, and try, tried to, it just created a mess. It really did. It created a mess. Um, and again, the original idea was, was, was cool because you wanted to separate content. Hey, if you're just looking for sermons and Sunday school lessons, they're right here. If you're looking for news commentaries, they're right here. If you're looking for hermeneutics, it's right here. So it, it was a cool idea. But when that was all over, you can't tell people, hey, we've got 25 podcasts out there. Go find all 25. It, it just seems that. So then everything kind of started moving back towards, well, the Theology Central podcast. Now, we still have it separated by the VBC podcast. That's the podcast committed to what is being preached and taught at Victory Baptist Church. And then the Theology Central podcast, which is under the authority of the Victory Baptist Church. So we separated those two things so that people can find that kind of, whichever content they want. But even that can be kind of confusing to to manage. But that's why we ended up with so many different things going in so many different directions. And somewhere in the middle of all of that, we we started uh, placing our content on SoundCloud. Now, originally SoundCloud was just like, okay, we'll just kind of, we'll just kind of put some content here. Nobody's ever going to find us on SoundCloud. This is just going to be kind of where, where people, people in the church can find us on SoundCloud, right? Right. And it was just kind of a, a small little thing and we never gave it much thought. And then little by little, the numbers on SoundCloud cloud kept growing and growing and growing. And we never quite understood why we had any kind of significant numbers on SoundCloud. To this day, it makes no sense. SoundCloud, that's where the newest rapper is going to be discovered. It's, it's a music platform. It's not for theology podcast. Now, I know there are some other theology things on there, but it's just not really the platform for, for that. But we, we, our numbers were pretty amazing. 
But it it was weird because at some point we're like, okay, well, we're not focusing on SoundCloud anymore, right? Now, Spreaker is our podcasting hosting site. So what do we do with SoundCloud? And I've never wanted to get rid of it, never wanted to get rid of it. And at some point I'm like, I'm paying like almost $20 a month for this. I rarely check on it. I rare, I, you know, we, we, I don't think we've ever received an email from anyone who's heard us on SoundCloud. I don't think I've ever received an email from someone saying they discovered us on SoundCloud. Uh, every once in a while, we'll get co- uh, some comments on SoundCloud, but not very many. Um, and and what and typically, what you do get contact through SoundCloud, it's spam of some sort. Someone trying to promote something or sell you something. So for the most part. SoundCloud is just kind of there. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, Within the next week or two, SoundCloud is going away. So if you listen to us on SoundCloud, let me say this clearly. The podcast will no longer be available on SoundCloud. You need to either subscribe to the Theology Central podcast on one of, well, any podcasting app that you have or you want to download, we are there, Theology Central, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pandora, Deezer, Pocket Cast, Breaker, you, you, just in any uh, in Radio Public, you, just any of the podcast apps that are out there. If, if, you, if you can't find us, let me know, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com, and I'll, I'll, I'll ask you which podcast app you want to use and help you find us, all right? But of course, what we would strongly recommend, or at least as of right now, that you go to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and you download the Church One app. That's Church O-N-E, all run together, Church O-N-E. You download that app. Now, it's a generic app used by lots of different broadcasters. Just search for Theology Central. Boom, that will pull in all of our content. And it basically turns the app into the Theology Central standalone app. So in a way, we're right back to a standalone app, just kind of in a a unique, not your typical way, kind of a unique way, but it works great. The notification system works great. And it allows us to break all of our content once again down into different sections without creating hundreds of different podcasts, right? So, and even if we, we can make each series its own individual podcast through Church One. Now, this is interesting, but it's all managed right there. So it's easy to manage, to control. So we would really recommend download the Church One app and then do a search for Theology Central, make us your chosen broadcaster, and you get all of our content, everything. You get everything associated with VBC, everything associated with Theology Central, everything with Bible study exercise, hermeneutics, news commentaries. It's all in that one app. You don't have to, you don't have to subscribe to two different or three different podcasts. It's right there. Everything comes together in the church one app. But SoundCloud is going away. It's it's gone. So I canceled it today. That will save us about $20 a month. I think it's just. I know the number. Sometimes I look at the numbers. I'm like, there's just no way I can cancel this. I look, I'll never understand the numbers. The numbers make absolutely no sense. But here's what I'm going to say. If that many people, we've been on SoundCloud now for a couple of years. If that many people have, have found us on SoundCloud, even when we never advertised it, we never promoted it, we never, we never did anything with it. It was just kind of this, it was supposed to be an anonymous thing mainly for the people of Victory Baptist Church, and it kind of just got discovered and turned into more and more and more. Since we kind of left it there, not really done anything with it, I'm assuming at this point in time, if someone has been listening to us and they want to continue, they are willing to go download another app. They have to. I, 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 I just have a hard time believing someone who has a SoundCloud app on their device, they would not have Spotify or Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts or, or some other app where they could get our content or a, be unwilling to download the Church One app. So SoundCloud is going away, right? That's the first major update. SoundCloud is going away. It's just, there's just no point. But this is going to have a profound impact on something. If for some reason, you listen to, in fact, let me pull this up because this is another one that makes no sense as well. I don't even really know how this one came about. Um, I'm going to pull this up. If you happen to subscribe 
to the Philological Musings podcast. Philological Musings. The Philological Musings podcast. That's Philological Musings, M-U-S-I-N-G-S. The Philological Musings podcast. You may see that disappear because in some ways, the Philological Musings podcast really is using the RSS feed from SoundCloud. That, that's really what's kind of, go, that's what's going on. So um, it, it, you will need to find Theology Central. Theology Central, the artwork for Theology Central is green, where the Theological Musings is kind of a very dark, like almost a royal blue color. Um, you want to find Theology Central, and that's the one you want to subscribe to. If you subscribe to Theological Musings, it's about to disappear. It's about to go away. It may remain on platforms, but it's not going to be updated because really what happens is I post a podcast episode. It automatically goes to SoundCloud, and then from SoundCloud, it goes to Theological Musings. I know, confusing. You see why I have to try to streamline all of this and bring it together? It's just too many different things going in too many different directions, and it's not like I have a team of people monitoring it all. So, Theological Musings, it will be going away, all right? So, if you listen to us on SoundCloud, you need to listen to, you need to go to a different app and search for Theology Central. If you listen to us via the Theological Musings podcast, that will, for all practical purposes, be going away. You need to look for Theology Central, all right? And again, I would say, if you listen to us on Theological Musings, that was a catch-all. Everything went to that. Everything went to that. So uh, Church One will be your best app, a bit best choice. Again, download the Church O-N-E app, Church O-N-E. Do a search for Theology Central, and basically... How the theological musings worked, it works, is, it works the same way for Church One. Everything comes there, everything. VBC content, Theology Central content, all the different series, boom, into one app. That would be the best suggestion I have. So SoundCloud, going away. Theological musings, going away. Now, the third thing going away, probably 99% of you have never looked at don't even know it exists and could care less. And that is the VBC pod page, the VBC pod page. Now, I, I have not checked numbers to see how many people have discovered us that way. Typically, if someone's going to contact me, they contact me through the Theology Central pod page, not the VBC pod page, because the VBC pod page just have sermons and Sunday school lessons preached at, at Victory Baptist Church. And it was really designed there so that people would have the ability to, to uh, search and find all of our content, and we could break it into series. All of that's happening on the Church One app. And all of the stuff from VBC is being brought over to Church One and being placed in its proper series, like the Book of Romans or Jude or whatever or whatever else we are doing. So once again, the uh, VBC pod page will be going away. And that was, again, costing us around $20 a month. So we're going to cl save close to $40 a month. Um, that will bring the cost down a little bit. Because, I mean, it's, it's expensive to do all the things that we're trying to do. It really is. So um, that will that will be, I mean, I, who knows? Now, probably what will happen is no one who's ever contacted me. No, here's what's going to happen. Someone who's never contacted me, someone who's never said a thing is going to be like, wait, the VBC pod page is going away. I go there every day. Wait, SoundCloud is going away. That's the only way I listen to it. Wait, Philological Musings is going away. Well, that's it. I'm done. There'll be someone who'll be upset and complain. Look, there's only so much. I'm one person. I'm one person. So SoundCloud, it's gone. Philological Musings, it's gone. The VBC pod page, it's gone. Those are gone. Now, it will take a couple of weeks for all of that to disappear. Once it disappears, I hope <laughs> that people will migrate. They will move over. They will transition to either a podcast app, and there's you know, plenty of them out there to choose from. You'll do a search for Theology Central, and you'll, you'll find us. 
Um, and if you if you can't, let me know. Um, and I, I hope we don't lose too many listeners, and I hope we it doesn't hurt our numbers too much. Those, I, in some ways, I don't want to lose those numbers on SoundCloud. I don't want to lose those numbers because you're talking thousands sometimes, uh, uh, you know, ever twenty four hours to forty eight hours. Um, but if it hurts us, it hurts us. It's just we got we got to. I got to stream. I got to get everything on the same page where it's just easier to know what's what. And, and I can I can keep track of it in some way, shape or form. So all of those things are going to happen. Now, I do want to point this out. This is important. Another important update on most podcasting apps right now. If you do a search for Theology Central, you're going to see two different podcasts. In fact, I'm just going to do this on the Apple podcast app. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go to search. I'm going to type in Theology Central. Theology Central. And you're going to see two, you may see even three. <laughs> you may see three feet. And I think one of those is going to be, sadly, the feed that comes from SoundCloud. I think that's what's going to happen. Which, again, I know I'm possibly hurting myself, but I, I I just have to make this decision, all right? But you're going to see a Theology Central podcast with a green background, a white circle in the middle of it, a Bible with a cross on it. Underneath it, you're going to see the words Theology Central, all right? That is going to be, obviously, one a, a, an option available to you. You're going to also see one that has that same green background with a circle, the Bible in it, that says Theology Central. And right underneath that, you're going to see a black bar, a kind of a black thing going across that says sermonaudio.com. That is the Theology Central podcast feed coming from Sermon Audio. So you're going to end up with two options. The sermonaudio.com one will bring, well, will bring in all of the content from the VBC podcast and the Theology Central podcast. So you can get all of it together. If you don't want to subscribe to the Sermon Audio one, then you'll subscribe to Theology Central, and then you'll need to do a search for VBC. And it's a gray background with, with kind of a green, a greenish uh, across that under, underneath it says Victory Baptist Church. So you'll have to look for VBC. If you want it now, a lot of people are going to be like, why, why do you still have the VBC podcast? Why don't you bring it all to Theology Central? I don't know. I don't know. I may still keep them separate. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to keep it separate. I'm going to keep those separate. So uh, under the Sermon Audio one, it's going to be brought together. On the Church One app and on the Sermon Audio feed, those two podcasts will be merged. But on all the other podcast apps, if you're not going to use Church One and you're not going to subscribe to Theology Central, the Sermon Audio feed, you'll need to subscribe to Theology Central and you'll need to subscribe to VBC. Then you can get all of our content. All right? That is, is great. Now, if you're using the Spreaker app, then obviously you're going you get if you're using the Spreaker app, then you don't need to worry about anything. All of our content's right there. You just need to make sure you are subscribing to Theology Central and VBC. All right. So if you're if you're using Spreaker, you're good to go. If you're using any other podcast app, you need to have you need to subscribe to Theology Central and VBC. If you're subscribing to Theology Central through the sermon audio feed, you're getting both. If you're using the Church One app, you don't need to do anything. You get everything. There you go. All right? I know that's going to be a little bit confusing, but that that's, that's the situation as it currently stands. SoundCloud going away. If I said Spotify at some point, I apologize. Spotify is not going away. SoundCloud is going away. Theological Musings is going away. And the VBC pod page, not the podcast, the pod page is going away, all right? If you're trying to find our content and you do a search on any podcasting app, you're going to find Theology Central with the green background, uh, the white circle, the Bible in the middle says Theology Central. That's one. Or you're going to find one with the same green background, but underneath it, there's going to be this uh, kind of a black bar that goes across. It says Sermon Audio. That's the Sermon Audio feed. 
of the Theology Central podcast. That one gives you both the Theology Central podcast and the VBC podcast all merged together, okay? So if you don't do the sermon audio feed, you'll need to do a search for Theology Central, then a search for VBC, and subscribe to both. I know, you're like, this is crazy crazy confusing. It is, but this is what happens when you when we were trying to separate all of the content on the standalone app, right? We wanted our sermons separated from everything else. So you ended up with, two, I ended up with multiple podcasts. So, and because we kind of, I, I always wanted it like, look, there's some people who could, for, for example, a large, I think there's a number of people in my church, they could care less about the podcast. They could care. They just, if they're going to listen to anything, they're going to listen to sermons they miss. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Then they, then they don't have to even be bothered with the podcast content. Other people could care less about the sermons. They just want the podcast content. Well, they don't have to worry about the sermons. So this at least allows for that. But the, the one on from Sermon Audio, it's going to be grouped together. And on the Church One app, you say, well, both are there. Yes, but everything is broken into individual series. So you'll immediately know, oh, that's that's a sermon because it's it's the Roman series. You'll 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 catch on really quick and know what to avoid. The easiest way is the I think the easiest way to get all of our content is the Spreaker app. That's S P R E A K E R Spreaker. That's the Spreaker app. You can find it in any of the app stores, Google Play or Apple App Store. Um, it is free, and you can listen to us when we're live. All right, and you can chat with us when we're live. Or you can download the Church One app, Church O-N-E, do a search for Theology Central, and you can listen to us when we're live, and it has the best notification system versus any app that we've ever used. It will let you know when we're going live, and it does a great job of doing just that, and we're very grateful for that. One last update. If you are using Apple Podcasts, for some reason, the Apple podcasting app seems to be working great. It went through a period that was really glitchy and having all kinds of problems. Those problems are at least are fixed from, from what I'm experiencing. If you, are, if you are subscribed to us and listen to us on Apple podcast, please note if you, if you, if it just seems like there hasn't been an update, there hasn't been an update to that podcast, Email me, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. They have it set up now that I can immediately go into what they called uh, the Podcast Connect dashboard, hit refresh, and I can manually refresh the RSS feed, and it will immediately bring in the content that for some reason is not there. For earlier today, the Theology Central Sermon Audio feed for Apple Podcast, nothing had been nothing had been posted since Sunday. And I'm like, it's Thursday. You know how many episodes I've done? So I just did a refresh. I did a refresh and it's updated. So if you have any problems on Apple Podcasts, all you got to do is email me, newsif at yahoo.com. I'll hit refresh and you'll get all of the content there. So I think that's everything. In review, no more SoundCloud. No more Theological Musings podcasts. No more VBC pod page, not podcast. No more VBC pod page. Don't get that confused. Um, uh, If uh, if you're using the Apple podcast app and you're not getting updates, let me know and I will uh, get that fixed for you. And we would again recommend the Church One app. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. It's not necessarily what I wanted to spend 30 minutes talking about, but... I, I just got to try to get the information out there or I don't know, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have given the information out and then see how many people tried to contact me, but um, who knows? We, we, we may do even more merging. We may do even more organizing, may even do more merging. We may do that. Um, we really wanted, I really, 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 really wanted to, uh, to get a presence on sermons.net. We, one, we can't go live on sermons.net and Spreaker and uh, the Church One app and Sermons 2.0 app at the same time. We can't because the sermons.net software just artificially cranks the volume to 100. I don't know why it does that, and it messes it up for all the other platforms. So there's a part of me that would like to have an account on sermons.net and just upload all of our content there. But 
we'll see. We'll see. Maybe that's uh, that's just I. The time to manage that would be just ridiculous because I would have to be manually updating. Every every time I'm done with an episode, I would have to manually upload it. 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 I would love to, and I don't think you can bring in, uh, I don't think they have it set up where you can bring in all of your content. Just, you know, they can manually bring it all over from your RSS feed. If they could bring it all over and just automatically transfer it, now that would cost money, but it would be cool to have. It would be cool to be on sermons.net as well. Um, that would give us some other options. I just like having options because um, I got really, I got really nervous when YouTube almost got rid of us. We came, we were one strike away from being banned from YouTube. One strike away, we got really close. With that being the end of YouTube, very close. Um, and so when you've got all of your content in one place, all it requires is someone to go. I don't like you. I, I know, you know, you, you made this mistake. I don't like you for this or, or we don't like you anymore. You're done. And just immediately you're just, you're gone. All of your content's just gone. And, um, I don't want to, I don't want to be that there. I don't want to be in that situation. So how to, how to, you know, I mean, I, I know someone could say, well, the, your best option would be create your own website. Yeah, but how many people listen to to things on a website? It's 2022. They listen to on things on a mobile app. So then someone, well, the best thing to do is to create a mobile app and then have all your content there. It would be great to do that, but I don't know how to build an app and I don't want to go through that process again. I mean, I I, I don't know how to build an app. I had to, I had to do the kind of building an app back before when we had our own standalone app, but look how, how easily that went away. We had a standalone app and boom, it's gone because the company got bought out. So even that is not a guarantee. So you really need to be on multiple platforms. So you're like, okay, if this one goes away, we've got this option. And if this goes away, we've got this option. Sermons.net to me is another viable option. They've always been super nice and helpful. Um, so, um, me, me, yeah, I don't want to bite that bullet, but maybe we have to. I'm going to I'm going to email them today. Or maybe tomorrow and just see, hey, is there a way if I give you an RSS feed, you could just bring in all of our content over just an automatic transfer. And if they say yes, then uh, maybe man, that's a, that's going to be another expense. So I don't know. Maybe the money we save from the other things could could do something. I don't, I know probably ninety nine percent of the people have never use sermons dot net. They they don't have the sermons dot net uh, app, but there's there's some possibilities there that could really that we could possibly do something good with. I think we could possibly accomplish something with that. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I just want to have every I want to have every option possible is what I want. I want every option possible. So we will see. But that's the latest. For most of you, I think you're good to go. So I guess the bottom line is, like, what would you, if someone say, what would you recommend right now? Well, I would recommend the Spreaker app, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, only because Spreaker has never had an issue with anything. They've been super cool with us. And I don't, I, I don't have any fear of anything happening there. And it's easy to find all of our content. And you can listen to us live. And they they have the best live streaming software that I've ever seen. I mean, the studio software I'm using to broadcast live right now via Spreaker. I would recommend I- anyone who ever wants to do a live broadcast, I would say use Spreaker. It's it's just hands down the best. And what's wonderful is that you can use the same software to be able to stream live on Church One and Sermons 2.0 app. I mean that that's that's a that's that's a a plus and you can do things like you know this looking at our world from a theological you can play audio clips from it and it and those audio clips play not only on the live broadcast via Spreaker but also on Sermons 2.0 and Church 1. I'm telling you it's it's the greatest setup ever and I'm technically at, uh, you know from a, I'm technologically challenged let's say it that way. So um I, I think that that is great. So we de- we never want that one to go away. So Spreaker is like, if you're using the Spreaker app, you're good to go. You should be able to find everything. The Church One app, 
The reason we strongly recommend that is everything is broken down into series and the notification for when we go live and when new content added is absolutely perfect. And it allows me to send out push notifications. I mean, that, that I, I don't even have words for how amazing that is. Uh, the Church One app is the greatest idea. I mean, I am absolutely blown away with what they're offering for that Church One app. That thing is so awesome. I love the Church One app. So um, I Church O-N-E, download that. that. That just makes it easy to get all of our content. So Spreaker or Church One is what I would recommend. And if we could, if I had a team of people, I would just say, start working on, I would just contact them right now. Start working right now on sermons.net. Just start, just start. Um, but may, may, maybe we'll do something on sermons.net. May, maybe. I don't know. I've, I've done so many, like I'm going to do it. Then I'm not going to do it. I do it. And then I do it. I'm going to, I'm delete it. And then I do, and then I do delete it. And then I do, and then I delete it. it it's so, it's, uh, I can't, I, I just, uh, same thing we were trying to do on Podbean. We really wanted to, to kind of get a live broadcast going on Podbean, but um, I was like, uh, yeah, there's only so many platforms I can be on. So that's what we've tried to do. But there's the latest. Those are the major updates. Please take that into consideration. And if you want any of our content, you know how to contact me, newsif at yahoo.com. And uh, we'll probably have some more streamline, streamlining and con- consolidating things moving forward. We'll just take it step by step. But this is a, it saves money and it, it saves me for having to check 500 different platforms. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go from there. All right. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, email me and we'll be back with some other live broadcasting starting here shortly. Thanks for listening. God bless.